Seriously? Hi, this is Don. You know this guy. We are in a shocking turn of events going where? To the hospital. I have a doctor's appointment. I'm having my acupuncture. It's working, so I'm doing it. Endoscopic ultrasound today. Can you get interested in the tree? Oh, it's got Blooms a on it. it. Tulip tree. Now, if you want to know more about endoscopic ultrasound, I made a video last year. I'll put an eye in the sky. We're doing this again. Remembering last time that when she wheeled me out, we went to Starbucks. I mean, she literally wheeled me through the line at oh, Starbucks. Yeah, right over here. I am getting a second opinion on the midline brain tumor I have. I would say it's a little bit longer, so if that's a centimeter that way, then that's probably uh, 13 millimeters or something. So it's kind of oblong. Going off of that, and then you've got this other guy here and that other guy there. Oh, yeah. So he wanted to operate, did he? Uh-huh, he wanted me to schedule. He didn't say, oh, you need surgery now, but he was like, you know, we should plan like if summer's better for you or winter or whatever. I think it's all about the same. <laughs> okay. I mean, we measured it, right? It's the same pretty much. Yeah, I mean, it's the incremental growth okay. that we expect. I would say IPHL. probably get a, another one in a year or something. Okay my coronavirus test today. This is how they put the chip in. Oh, there they are. It looks so ominous, doesn't it? They're bored, huh? Should I child lock your windows? No, please don't. So it makes you look like an idiot when you're trying to roll it down. No. <laughs> and uh, where are you having your test done today? I have an endoscopy tomorrow. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. perfect, okay. Okay, hey, here we go. There we go. All right, in position. 10, 9, 8, you're doing great. Breathe out through your mouth. 5, 4, 3, 2, and stay still. We're coming out. Good job. That made my eyes water. <laughs> Do your best to try to relax. In position, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You're doing great. Stay still while I move it. Good job. I have an endoscopic ultrasound today, and it's June 4th, 2020. Does that ring any bells? There's been signs that the freeway might be stopped for daily protests, and I had to have a COVID-19 test. That was it. They had my, my curtain open the whole time, so I couldn't really film inside. Everything was stable, but it left a thing on me. Look, there it is. I was teasing the guy about how, like, three days later you find one, and he said, Yep, yeah, we put five on, but we only take four. And shout out to the hospital because every single person I encountered was nice. That doesn't happen very often. I even thought the lady that had to admit me was kind of grumpy, but then she started talking and she was nice too. It's very strange. So anybody out there getting an endoscopic ultrasound, not pleasant, but not bad either. What did you think? <laughs> it hurt me a bit. That was Thursday. Today is Sunday and today I have an MRI. The floodgates have opened of doctor's appointments and tests because they were closed for COVID and now my area is in phase two and this is in phase 1.5 so we get to have doctor's appointments. It is a big day for me. It is January 9th, 2021 and I am on my way to get the Moderna vaccine. So I've told you before that I work for a nonprofit in administration and it's actually behavioral health services and that is healthcare. We are 1A in line to get the COVID vaccine. Well, the first dose anyway. I get the first dose today, the second dose on February 6th and it takes one to two weeks to take effect. I am on my way to being inoculated for COVID. I have to tell you, I'm so excited when I made the appointment, I started crying and I feel bad for other people that don't get to go before me, but it doesn't change it. I didn't get to choose the order or anything. So I'm just gonna go when it's my turn because it's gonna get harder for me to show up when it's not my turn. It's all happening now. Oh, and look, Moon. 
is so much snow on the mountains today. Those are the Cascade Mountains. I'm out. I was inside the doctor's office, so there was no way for me to film. Two of my co-workers were in line, so we got to all talk in line together. So that was really fun and see each other because we've been working from home for 10 months. And then we saw another co-worker on the elevator. It's like getting the old gang together. I have to say, my arm is a little bit sore, but not any more sore than it is from the B12 shot. Maybe about the same. We did have to sit 15 minutes afterwards and wait to make sure we didn't have a reaction. They were giving shots to 500 people today. Of all the things to be around germs for, <laughs> it was the one that was worth it. When is this gonna be over? One of the ladies working there goes, it's exciting. We're all feeling it. It is exciting. They had an ambulance crew on standby the whole time that we waited in case someone had anaphylaxis that they could treat them right there on the spot. We had medical personnel observing us. Nobody was gonna die today getting their shot even if they were allergic. And it is time for me to get my second shot of the Moderna vaccine. Yeah. Ready? Right, ready? Yep. This is the least painful part. This is the next piece. And I'm out. I have had both vaccines. They said seven to 10 days for effectiveness. So that's pretty exciting. My birthday's in seven days and I will be vaccinated. I'm not throwing away my shot. This is a weird day. This is my last day of work. I can't even believe it when I say it. It's so unreal. In early vlogs, I drove you to my job so many times on this road. Till Caleb's accident. But there's no cars because of the illness. I quit my job. Gave him two months notice. Today's the last day. I gotta go in and finish things up. Lots of things. And then I'm out of there. Get to say goodbye to my friends. It's crazy. And it's a weird time because of, you know, the pandemic. It'll just be you and me. My time is up. I am sick more days than I'm not. I'm going to see if I can rebuild my health, have some better days, and I don't know if that's possible, but I'm gonna try. Clean up my office. Now it's just paperwork I need to do and things I need to train my co-worker who's taking my job over on. That sentence didn't work. It's been almost 15 years I've been with this agency. That's a big chunk of my life. I don't think besides being married and having kids, I've done anything that lasted 15 years. Well, maybe this car. <laughs> this is always the prettiest part. Coming through the forest. Saying goodbye. That's it. I'm done. I was saying goodbye.